In this video, I'm gonna review one of my favorite lighting setups for YouTube, an 18 inch ring light, as well as a few tips and tricks for getting the best lighting results with it coming up. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. And on this channel, we do video gear reviews, audio, and lighting reviews, just like this one. So definitely subscribe. And hey, at any point during this video, check out show notes and just a summary of this entire episode in the YouTube description below. Everything I talk about, I'll list out down there. Let's go check out the ring light. Okay, so this is a Halo Prismatic 18 inch ring light. This is my new favorite lighting solution for just making YouTube videos for a couple reasons. Number one, it's super easy to set up. Uh, you can just pull it out of the box, plug it in, and you're ready to go. Number two, it's dimmable, so you can get different brightness levels for your videos. Number three, it's a daylight balanced fluorescent bulb. And so, as you can see, I love to shoot right here in my office with the window light coming in, and then I get a great brightness off of the ring light. It's a great color temperature uh, as far as the light bulb goes. Uh, it's versatile, you could use it outside for video or photo shoots. Number four, it's low heat. And so this is awesome because the ring light's pretty close to me, and some of the other lighting setups I'll use is like a traditional like halogen softbox and it puts off a ton of heat. And so if you're in front of the camera, the last thing you want is more heat coming at you, causing you to sweat during shoots. Next, I'm using it with a light stand and I've got the tripod and a Canon 70D with a 10 to 22 lens on it and a shotgun mic. And I love this setup and the look that it has. But what's cool is depending on where you're starting, if you just want versatility, it's got a cold shoe mount that comes with it. So you could easily put a point and shoot or you could also get a cell phone mount and mount your smartphone directly on the light itself. So you could have a super quick setup without an extra tripod contained right into the ring light. And another option that I'm really looking forward to is that by doing your cell phone in that shoe mount, you could do things like live streaming with Periscope great lighting with the ring light, and then just mount your phone directly on it. I also like the diffusion plate system, which snaps on and eliminates harsh shadows and just gives the light a nice diffuse look, plus protects the bulb with the hard plastic. And I also like the fact that it's super portable, so it's easy to take with you uh, in the case that it comes with, and now you have like a one light solution um, that you could set up in a hotel room or anywhere on the road to get kind of a consistent look across all your videos. So it ultimately makes videos look really great, and then I also like how it makes pictures look, and specifically for making YouTube thumbnails, and you know, shooting on your camera in the setting. So you can pick this ring light up on Amazon, but also directly through dvestore.com. That's where this one came from. And so check out links in the YouTube description uh, for a couple different options. Uh, number one, it doesn't come with a light stand. However, there is a bundle on Amazon with the light stand in case you need that. And then also check out the different mounts that they offer on DVE store. The ring light itself comes with this piece that you could mount your point and shoot camera or even any camera up to two pounds directly on the ring light but then they have different options or you could just add your own, uh, like this is a Mi Photo cell phone mount that could easily combine with this so you could do video off your smartphone. Um, or uh, this one's from DVE Store, you could do video on your tablet right on the, the ring light itself uh, with this setup and use like an iPad or something else. So anyways, I'll link all those different things in the YouTube description so you can kind of research and see what your options are. And hey, we recently just launched the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide. And so if you are looking for pro options or budget options, it's literally a range for every budget for audio, video, lighting, all that kind of stuff. You can download that for free. I'll link it up on the YouTube card as well as in the description below if you are looking for video gear to crush it with online video this year. Question of the day, what do you think about ring lighting and what's your opinion of the results of this video right here as well as have you ever tried it? I would love to hear from you and connect with you in the comment section here on YouTube. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe to Think Media TV for more videos just like this. If you appreciated this video, hit the like button and uh, leave me a comment with some feedback about what you thought. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. So keep crushing it, keep smashing it, and we will talk soon. Oh, my back, my back, my back hurts. Oh.
Oh, it's been a shoot day. I'm in the middle of a bat shooting day and I'm exhausted. But hey, if you haven't seen the video on consistency, batching is one of the tips. YouTube card, YouTube card will link, link to that video if you've never seen it.